Tony Buxavilas here with Monday Motivation. And um, I'm kind of laughing right now. And, and the reason why I'm laughing is because I just spent a few minutes reading some Facebook posts. And there's a bunch of Facebook posts out there about people who are showing the healthy food that they're eating and that they just went to the gym and that they're, uh, you know, I'm, I just left my exercise class. And the reason I'm laughing is, is because it's January 9th. And so a lot of people start out with great intentions. And I know for a fact that those posts are going to quickly diminish as the year starts to progress. We're not going to be seeing those same posts in by middle of February. Definitely by March, they're they're done. They're not happening anymore. And I'm I'm kind of you know laughing to be a little facetious here, but it's so easy to get started because it doesn't take much effort, right? But it's so much harder to continue. Now, is the effort harder to continue? I'm talking about the physical effort of getting up, getting your butt to the gym, doing whatever type of exercise you decide to do. Is the effort really harder to do later on than it, did, than it is in the beginning? More than likely not. It doesn't have to be. What usually happens is that the motivation starts to fade. The motivation being the impetus to go ahead and do something that is going to be good for you and right for you and that's going to head you towards whatever goal that you have despite the way that you feel but for most people once it becomes inconvenient it's a wrap it's over and it kind of reminds me of again my favorite movie rocky which i've said over and over again and there's a scene in the movie where the main character played by sylvester stallone is fighting with the champion Apollo Creed played by the great Carl Withers and he's been beaten so badly that he can no longer see out of his eye and he goes the famous line if you've seen the movie like I have a million times he says what cut me Mick right and it's like a horrific scene that happens where the trainer Mickey takes out a razor blade and puts it against his eye and he basically lances the, the contusion and all this bruised blood starts coming out, but it clears up his eyesight so that he can see and he can go out there and, and fight. Now, what does that mean? Why is that statement so symbolic? Because the term cut me, Mick, basically says, baby, I am committed. Look, nothing matters at this point in time. The only thing that matters is that I got another round to go out there and fight, and if you gotta cause an injury to me in order to make it possible for me to go ahead and do that then you know what go ahead and make it happen because I am in this to the completion of my task so rather than put that post out there that says going to the gym for my Zumba class or on my way to boot camp and guess what I just ate kale this morning right on your post cut me Mick as a demonstration to how committed that you are that's all I got for now always remember till next time put your heart and soul in your goal be well